many people, non-Muslims, and sometimes even Muslims are perturbed that how come Aisha, our mother, was married at a very young age? And this is a question that people who study anthropology and intelligent researchers that are non-Muslim never bring up. Because what is happening here is that we are taking our cultural mores, our cultural norms, and then back projecting them onto the Arabian society. You see, the age of marriage is something that has no normative, no standard age. And cultures and ethnicities throughout the centuries had different ages of marriage. Shakespeare wrote his famous Romeo and Juliet. Do you know that the first actors that played Romeo and Juliet were how old? 15 and 14 years old. The boy was 15, the girl was 14. Now, if we had a Romeo and Juliet play, the, the, the content and the love scenes and the romance, we would project it onto an 18 or 19 and a 19 or 17 year old, you know? We would say, oh, this is a young man and a young woman. In our age, in, in, in 2014, Romeo and Juliet, we think of like a 19 year old with his 17 year old sweetheart or 18 year old sweetheart. That's our version. Well, when Shakespeare wrote the play, it was for a 14 year old and a 15 year old. Right? Only 500 years ago. In that age and time, people matured faster. They were not treated like little kids in the bodies of adults. Adolescence didn't exist in that regard. When you became a young man or woman, biologically mature, you were treated like a young man and a woman. And therefore, culture changes. In America, a hundred years ago, young ladies would get married regularly at the age of 13 and 14. That is why until very recently, literally like a few decades ago, in some states, including my own state of Tennessee where I currently live, the law said that you have to be 14 years old to get married. Recently they changed that, updated that. But when the laws were written 100 years ago, what was the age they put for marriage? 14. Now you tell me, today, if somebody marries a 14 year old, he's gonna go to jail. Why are you defending Aisha when Aisha was the happiest wife in the whole world? Who are you to get irritated when Aisha herself was the luckiest, most fortunate woman in the whole world? She wasn't complaining. She wasn't feeling anything bad. So in that day and age, puberty, intellectual maturity in the hot Arabian climate, in the desert life, young children age faster because you have to take on responsibilities. So Aisha's age in her time would be our equivalent of whatever, 16, 17. And Western culture itself has continued to raise the age of marriage. So for us to now criticize Arabian culture 14 centuries ago, you begin with criticizing your own grandmother and grandfather and your own ancestors of the Middle Ages. That is really not a very rational thing to do. Different time, different culture, different place.